Hey, good Fox here. Today I got Mean Joe Green Night Guardian review, or why I don't like the run stuffing game or run blocking game in Madden 19. Let's go through his stats before we start breaking down how he is on the field, both against the run and the pass. 77 speed, which is very nice for a defensive tackle. Uh, that's a pretty quick dude. 80, 83 acceleration, 96 strength, so he's stronger than every single interior offensive lineman in the game by three. Um, the block shed is higher than any guard center uh, by three. Uh, I think Sheriff can tie him actually with the, the chem boosts. Power move at 99, hit power 92, finesse move 77, but we, we won't talk about finesse move. All right, so let's talk about the run first. Here he is, unfortunately, not getting double teamed. So guys get hooked too easy. This is one of the issues with uh, the inside zone. He's head up on the center in the right guard without a double team, without a touch, hooks him super easy. So that hook is an issue. That He, he can't stop that. There he gets washed out. So stronger... Higher block shed getting washed right out of the play by the center. So, so far, like, I, I can't say I'm, making, I'm seeing a lot of, like, block shed. Um, I didn't have a lot of, uh, I would say, success. Block shed doesn't seem to mean as much this year as it does last year. I think ever since they nerfed block shed, uh, there's a proper double team. All right, so you see that double team. Mean Joe Green doesn't get lateral enough, though. The movement on the line, it feels like on stretches and stuff. Like, they get to a spot and just stop. Um, there I am shifting across. Let's watch again in slow motion, shifting across. That one's fine. It's a head up, head up uh, play there. Um, we kind of get engaged, and then we like you just on line of scrimmage. He's getting actually pancaked there. There is he's pushed back. Really, really disappointing right here. He's pushed back straight up by the center. Stood straight up and pushed back, and the hole is open as hell. Um, so I don't know. He's not the dominant force he was last year. Wham! I put out my wham him specifically to be my wham defender. That it looks like the two plays in a row, but dude just ran wham a bunch on me this game. Um, so let's just watch in slow motion that second one. And, it, like, he gets the out of my way, but it doesn't really matter because the running back just runs right past him, right? And then all the other blocks, the reach blocks and stuff, just cause cause huge issues, too. Like, I think this next one is a reach block. He's in a 4-3. Watch the tackle reach him. The, like, like, the movement of the defensive line, offensive line interaction, he just gets reached. And, like, this is one of the reasons why Wham's so powerful. Even though he whams right into my defensive tackle and he makes the play accidentally... I don't know. It's just it's just kind of disturbing the way the linemen move and like they they warp to their blocks and then get ahead of the guy. There's not realistic movement here in the linemen. Like look at that. Like how does he get washed that strong, that much block shed? His weight, of course, is 275, not 300. Like Malik said, the threshold at weight is 300. Man, that's that's unfortunate. Like he just gets moved side to side. There he's only he almost getting pancaked for the animation rises him up from the grave like Jesus. So anyway, his run stuffing skill is honestly the best you can get, but it's still like, you know, the run running in this game is, is weird. Uh, let's talk about passing. We'll give a final grade for everything at the end. Uh, here's his pass rushing. is a defensive tackle spot. He kind of moves back and forth. Um, there he's getting double teamed. You can't really you can't really fault the guy for not being able to beat a double team. Um, so he's kind of in the middle there. There's there's kind of like an instant win. Wish we could see more of that. I know NY Kia, and I've, I've complained about it in the past. There's no, like, push from the D-lineman in the middle. We, I talked about it on the podcast with Clint. Um, he said they just can't do it. They can't code it into the game because it causes the issue. So they, we can only get, like, disengage, block shed type of pass rush D. So, yeah, we've got we got a couple insta block sheds there for uh, for sacks. But he doesn't do it a whole lot. I mean, like, look at him fight. He is, he is doing a lot of fighting. I do like that. 99 power moves, you know, the, obviously the best you can get. So he is, like, the ideal man right there. And I think natural pass rushes, outside of glitches, are only going to get worse as offensive linemen get worse. Or as offensive linemen get better. So, you know, power up. Get get the get that high 90s uh, power move right now as best you can before the offensive linemen are able to easily match you. So, overall, I did like him. He closed in on the quarterback an okay amount. 77, he's still going to get outrun by, like, the Vicks of the world. Uh, but he, he will fight for you pretty well. He's doing a good job getting off blocks. But, like, it's nothing like... There's not as many instant wins that you see like in the real NFL. They they generally give him a certain amount of time in the pocket if it's just like a four man rush, non like you know big nickel glitch or anything like that. Um, so overall, like his pass rush skills, I would say they're they're quite above average. Uh, but there's no like interior push there. So how valuable is it to you? I'd still say it's pretty nice. His pass rush skill out of ten because of just how um, you know undominant like four man pass rush skills. I'll give it a nine because it's still pretty good, but nothing impressive. Uh, but still, I mean, that's like the max I can give. The run stuffing skills, six, because it doesn't really work uh, because of the last pat or two patches ago. Was it, I think it was two or, yeah, two patches ago. So overall, especially with how pricey he is, I'm giving it an eight. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.